What's going on guys, I'm Mark Lensanga from Techno Buffalo and today we'll be taking a quick look at dynamic perspective on Amazon's Fire Phone. We're going to show you what it's all about and see our initial thoughts. The Fire Phone might look like an ordinary black slab, but upon closer inspection you'll begin to notice that in front of the device sports a unique new custom sensor system known as dynamic perspective. That responds to how you hold, view, and move your phone. That means more immersive apps and games, easy one-handed shortcuts, and a better way to read. Amazon included four cameras in each corner of the phone, allowing the device to track the position of a user's head at all times. Amazon said dynamic perspective actually only needs two cameras to operate, but included four just in case any of the other two are covered. Each camera also includes an infrared light, meaning the feature will still work in complete darkness. While the feature is certainly unique, our experience so far is mixed. It doesn't really seem to add much to the overall experience and seems more gimmicky than anything. However, it is fun to show off the friends and family and does set it apart from competing devices. Amazon was adamant dynamic perspective is not the same as parallax, which we saw in iOS 7, and it's not the full-on 3D display many rumors said it would be. When you move your head or tilt your phone, the phone literally shifts perspective. You'll be able to see the sides of icons, peek around the edges of an object, and even see parts of an image you couldn't even see before. It's part of the core UI that Amazon built in with this version of Fire OS, and it seems to work pretty consistently. Probably the coolest demonstration of dynamic perspective capability is inside the Maps app. Amazon's map experience is similar in execution to other regular Maps app, but it becomes a little more immersive thanks to dynamic perspective technology. Landmarks pop out and with a simple tilt you can easily access more information about restaurants and other shops around you. It doesn't really serve any real purpose, though it does make navigating a little more fun. That kind of extends to other experiences throughout the Fire Phone too. There are a handful of games such as Lily from Amazon Studio that are already taking advantage of the technology, and the approach reminds us a bit like the Oculus Rift in some ways, making you feel like you're more immersed inside the game. It won't really change how you play, but it does add another element. In other apps, you can tilt the device left or right to access menus or more information, and when you're reading, you can also just tilt to scroll. Though we just found it very frustrating to use, so we just stuck with simple swipes. The success and potential of the Fire Phone really relies on Firefly and dynamic perspective, but so far we're learning both features still need some work. We did a video explaining how Firefly works, so you can check that out in the link down below. Dynamic perspective makes everything a bit more fun and it's definitely cool to show off to friends, but so far we kinda wish it wasn't even there. Luckily there's an option to just turn it off altogether in the settings, so you're not forced to use this feature. And that's it for this video guys, if you guys have any other questions or want to see any other videos, let us know in the comments down below. And as always, I'm Mark Lensenga from Techno Buffalo. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe right here. Be the first ones to know whenever new videos get uploaded. We got a ton of stuff. We do phones, tablets, cars, anything that has to do with consumer electronics that has to be plugged in or uses batteries, we review.